First, insert the disc on your CD or DVD drive, and wait the autoplay window to pop up. Then select Open Folder to view files. To install the software of IPCAM, double-click IPCAM Setup. On the installation window, click Next button. Click Next button. Close this window. Once the installation is complete, select Yes, I want to restart my computer now. Then click Close button. After you restart your computer, you need to install the OCX plugin. To locate the installer, double click computer icon. Double click DVD RW drive. Double click a pin install. And click next button. Then click Install button. Once the installation is complete, click Finish button. Close this window. After you install the software and OCX plugin, let's connect the IP camera to your router. First, connect the adapter to your IP camera. And use one LAN cable, then connect the one end to the LAN port of your router. Then the other end to the LAN port of your IP camera. To check if your IP camera is detected, double-click IP camera tool icon. Once you see the subnet doesn't match in IP camera tool window, it means your IP camera is detected. Then wait for a few seconds, your router will generate new IP address for your IP camera. In order to port forward your IP camera, you need to configure your router. Right click network icon. Then select open network and sharing center. And click local area connection. Then click details button. And remember or take note the IPv4 default gateway. Close all windows, except IP camera software. And open Internet Explorer. In the address bar, type the default gateway that you copied earlier. In Windows Security Box, type the username and password of your router. Then click OK button. On the left side, click Port Forwarding tab. In the settings you can set the IP address and port number of your IP camera. Click the IP camera software. Remember or take note the IP address of your IP camera. In port forwarding, type your desired port number, and it is changeable up to four digits. 
in internal address, type the IP address of your IP camera, and that is 192.168.2.5. In description, type any name that you want. Let's try IP cam video. Then click add button. And click save button. Please wait for 5 seconds to reload your router. Once you set up the port forwarding of your IP cam, click IP camera software. Double click the IP address of your IP cam, and Windows security box will pop up. In username, type admin, and in password. Leave it blank. Then click OK button. Once you see the IP camera interface, click tool icon. And select F12 developer tools. Then click browser mode IE10. And select Internet Explorer 8. Then click sign in link. Once you see the output display, your IP camera is working. To set up the remote viewing, you need to configure the IP address and port forwarding of your IP camera. On the left side, click network tab. In basic network settings, Uncheck the Obtain IP from DHCP server. In IP address menu, type the IP address of your IP camera, it is 192.168.2.5. In subnet mask, gateway and DNS server menu, type the same range in your local area connection. In subnet mask menu, Type 255.255.255.0 In Gateway menu, type 192.168.2.1 In DNS server menu, type 192.168.2.1 In HTTP port menu, type the port number that you enter in port forwarding, it is 82. Then click Submit button. And wait for 30 seconds, your device is rebooting. Once you see the Internet Explorer cannot display the web page, click again the IP camera software. Then click New IP Address with port number of your IP camera. Windows Security Box will pop up. In Username, type Admin, and in Password, leave it blank. Then click OK button. And click Sign in Link. Once you set up the port forwarding in IP camera, let's now configure the wireless settings. On the left side, click Network tab. Then click Wireless LAN settings. And check using Wireless LAN. And click Scan button. Then select your Wi-Fi connection. Let's try, online manual video. In share key menu, type your Wi-Fi password. Then click submit button. And wait for 30 seconds, your device is rebooting. Once you finished configuring the wireless IP camera, click the live video.
To check if you can view the IP camera remotely, go to your router interface and get the WAN IP address. Click Overview tab. And remember or take note the WAN IP address. In Internet Explorer, open New Tab. In the address bar, type the WAN IP address that you copied earlier, and add the port number that you set in the port forwarding. Let's try HTTP colon backslash backslash 112.200.43.36 colon 82. And Windows Security Box will pop up. In Username, type Admin, and in Password, leave it blank. Then click OK button. If your browser is Internet Explorer 9 or higher, use the browser mode in F12 Developer Tools. Then click Browser Mode IE10. And select Internet Explorer 8. And Windows Security Box will pop up, and type again the username of the IP camera. Then click OK button. And click Sign In Link. Once you see the live video, your remote viewing IP camera is working. 